we were coming down here not knowing the area and not knowing if we actually 100% wanted to move here. We were, we were looking at a retirement move of choice and we wanted a realtor who could take the time and trouble to not just show us houses we might want to live in, but the community. And it became very obvious from early conversation with her that that, that was something that she was very comfortable with. Um, we, you know, we didn't come here with a, a job transfer or other reasons we were choosing to move here. And we wanted to know if we were making the right decision. So we really needed to find out what Chapel Hill, Durham, the area had to offer, what it had to offer people like us. And she lived here and she really, really gave us a good, a good sense of the different areas and what were the positives and what were the negatives of them for us. And she was also very patient because our issue, which is typical of many people nowadays, is that we had a house to sell in um, Columbus, Ohio, and uh, it took us two and a half years to do that. And we were up front with her and said, this is going to be a long process. Will you work with us? And she um, said yes, and in fact, she was very patient, uh, not at all pushy. And she always had um, um, interesting properties for us to think about and look at. I, we worked, first of all, we worked with her, her and some of her assistants, and that was great because we were not just, it was not just Jody taking us around. And sometimes different people have a different style and a different presentation. Um, I laughed about the fact that we got the sense that Jody preferred one neighborhood and her assistant preferred another that, that were our final choices. And we could kind of play off of each of them what the strengths it was were great. We really of the enjoyed two. That. Um, that was really nice. And it was also obvious that they each had you know, other things to do. So we were, we were able to keep looking in a short span of time by them switching us off. I thought that was very effective, um, and it was it was just helpful to have different people to to give you feedback. One of the things that I appreciated about working with Jody was how smart she was. I worked with a lot of realtors over the years, and she was extremely uh, savvy in understanding the appraisal process, mm -hmm. and her appraisal was just right on with what. Uh, the banks and whoever else appraises these things were much to the discomfiture of the owner of the property who thought it was um, Worth valued more. much more. But uh, we, this was during the period of the housing um, difficulties, and houses did um, you know, lose value over a certain time, and you just can't fight the comparables. But she was able to appraise it with a contemporary valuation that was just terrific. And then... The other thing that I really appreciated was that she um, knew or seemed to sense what the appropriate price for the house should be independent of the bidding process. And so she didn't want us to bid above a certain level because she felt that that, would, uh, that wasn't appropriate. And I really appreciated that advice. It's, mm -hmm. it's unusual to have that from a realtor to tell you not to buy a place because it's priced too high. Uh, but we really appreciated that, and in fact, we did the right thing by working with her. We left here having made a bid on, on our house. Oh, that's a great story. And we were driving north to go spend time with our children, two of us and our dog, and we're in a car on the road, and every day we would get a call from Jody as we were in the negotiating process, sometimes at their house, sometimes on the road. And the owner and realtor worked wanting to get more than, than our offer. So they were making, I don't know what a polite word is, they were, they were being very arbitrary, making some threats, making, making the process very difficult. Um, and at one point, we were about ready to kind of, you know, we just didn't know what to do. Well, in fact, we did know. Jody advised us, and we stopped the process. Yeah. We, we said, we're not bidding on your property and there'll be other houses available that we'll bid on. And it wasn't four days later that the owner called us back and said, would you consider the offer that you made four days ago? Right, and that, uh, that, was, that was my point as well, yeah. that, that instead of 
trying to talk us into doing it because we left, we want the house, we're ready to move. We were, we were almost the perfect clients for somebody, for an aggressive realtor to turn around and say, oh, why don't you give them more of what they want? You'll, you'll be happy here. She turned around and she said, you know, there really is a lot of inventory. If this one goes, there's going to be something else for you. And what they're asking isn't right. This is where the house is going to appraise. This is what you should bid. And she was absolutely 100% correct. She behaved just the way you want your realtor to behave. That's what yeah. I liked about it.